it's still very much an active scene. As you can see behind me, West Penn Power is here because the power is out. You can see the power lines down this afternoon. Now, just take a look at the destruction, right? Photographer is gonna show you. You can see the galvanized pipes throughout the area. This accident happened around 10 o'clock this morning. And I can tell you, thankfully, the driver was not injured. He also had a dog with him. Both the driver and the dog were okay. Again, the accident happening around 10 o'clock this morning. We're told that a school bus was just picking up students uh, about 20 minutes before the accident happened. So this really could have been a very different scenario here. Uh, a lot of the first responders on scene saying how lucky that driver was. Now again, you can see the damage. You can see it was carrying some sort of galvanized pipes. The pipes rolling probably for about a good quarter mile down the hill. We spoke with the gentleman who was there and pulled the driver out of his truck. Take a listen actually landed on a porch the whole roll another one's clear down here by the trailer it rolled the whole way through two yards and ended up by another trailer so it was all things considered everybody's pretty lucky nobody got hurt oh, over this side. so again as you just heard it could be a very different story you can see the damaged house behind me over there we're hoping to get an update from the fire chief here in the next couple of minutes but again no injuries to report at this time we're now reporting live from Fayette County this afternoon. Lily Coleman, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.